I am Lisa Vogel. I am a mom of two and the co-founder of Verona Collection. I started a hijab brand with only $7,000 and now I'm on a mission to empower women and make modest fashion accessible for all. I kind of grew up in a bubble. I knew nothing about Muslims or Islam until I went to college. And then I graduated college, went into the corporate world. I was doing pretty well financially, but I just wasn't fulfilled. I went back to school in 2010 to go to photography school. And during that time is when I kind of was discovering Islam. And I converted July 29th, 2011. I would actually like waitress at night when I was in school. And when I became Muslim, I ended up quitting. And then uh, photography allowed me to provide for myself. I was actually traveling the world doing photo shoots and then in 2013 I became a wife and I became a mom right away. I quit my job and I moved to where his job was. We were very comfortable but for me personally it was difficult because I was actually traveling like non-stop and then my lifestyle really changed. I think sometimes as moms we feel guilty but what I learned is that if I'm not fulfilled I can't be the best mom. I took a couple jobs when I was pregnant and I started taking Ilias on a few trips. When the second one came, I was like, this is just not gonna happen. <laughs> it wasn't until my second child that I decided to launch a business and do things that I love. The hijab is not just the headscarf. It requires you to wear looser clothing. It became very difficult to find like nice clothing that was still affordable, loose and modest and extremely time consuming to find like the right pieces that all went together. Ala and I met in 2014 and so we joined forces and officially launched in February 2015. With only four hijabs, two skirts, and a dress, we launched to fill a need but it was more than that. We really wanted to give Muslim women the confidence to be proud of who they are. We put in a total $7,000. We stretched every penny we could. I took care of the website. We sold out in about a matter of like one or two weeks. After that we then restocked and rebuilt. And what I was not expecting is that I would be a single mom just a few months later. Verona started out as something that I love. It wasn't necessarily intention of providing for me and my kids. And that's what it became. My ex did provide for a full year while we were separated. I realized halfway through, I have to take this time to make sure that Verona becomes successful because this is all I have right now. Thankfully, because I put my heart and soul into Verona, it's gotten the kids and I by. Running your own business, it seems like day and night. The minute the kids go to bed, I am working, but I wouldn't trade it for the world because this job is allowing me to actually be able to put my kids first. So my mom was a single mom. So she was a source of inspiration that if she could do it with three kids, like I could do it with two. Every dollar that came in was reinvested. My recommendation if you are building a business is to really use that time for growth because you're setting up a foundation. I had to learn very quickly on a small budget. It is very similar to run budgets in a business like you would in your personal life. And those are some of the habits that I still carry them now. I think it's just honestly having a certain lifestyle that allows you to live on a smaller budget, but still be just as happy. I don't need to ask for help anymore. I not only don't need to ask for help, but I can help other people now. And that to me is the best feeling in the world. And I realized the most important thing that you can do and for your family is to become financially stable so then you can help others going forward. I put my faith in God and my business honestly took off. Verona Collection became the first modest fashion brand to be launched and sold in an American department store. And it was amazing for the community because it wasn't just about filling a need. It was Muslim women and hijabi women were represented on a larger scale. I used to get stressed all the time about money, but I realized like I've always been okay and I'm always will be okay. I teach my kids that now. No matter how much money we have or don't have, real happiness comes from having family and love and support. I want them to know that they can actually go after anything that they want and that they can actually achieve it.